Okay, my name is Ed Friedman. I want to thank everyone for coming. We're the, representing the Maine Coalition to Stop Smart Meters. Around the world, October 4th is a day of action to protest the use and proliferation of these harmful devices. Our coalition calls for an immediate moratorium on smart meter use and related smart grid development, immediate halt to opt-out fees, recall of smart meters, replacement with safe and effective analog meters, and for the Maine Attorney General to begin an immediate criminal investigation into the mandatory imposition of extortionate opt-out fees by the Maine PUC and Central Maine Power. The mandated installation of microwave radio frequency radiation emitting and detailed information gathering devices on our home is an unprecedented assault on the very core values that founded this country. And their widespread deployment makes smart meters, so-called, probably the biggest toxics issue of our time. While currently 3 to 10 percent of our population recognizes their own electromagnetic sensitivity and the debilitating health effects it causes, some experts estimate as soon as 2017, 50 percent of the population will suffer from electromagnetic sensitivity as we all absorb the cumulative effects from ever increasing levels of electro smog brought on by the spread of wireless devices and their attendant infrastructure. Just as we suffer harm to our health, so too do the privacy violating characteristics, smart meters and the smart grid harm us as they penetrate into formerly sacrosanct areas of our home. Because each electronic appliance creates its own characteristic load signature defined by algorithms used in conjunction with smart meters, utilities and government now have access to previously unimagined level of personal data and formerly private information. The Federal Hobbs Act defines it as the crime of obtaining property from another induced by wrongful use of actual or threatened force, violence, or fear, or under color of official right. Maine has a similar definition. The harm and threat of harm come from the emission of RF radiation known to cause adverse biological effects, the invasion of privacy facilitating warrantless search and seizure of individual data by an agent of the government, that is the utility acting under specific orders of the PUC, the compromising of personal cybersecurity, and the taking of real property without due process of law or just compensation. In order to avoid these and other harms, we are forced to pay a cohesive fee, which if not paid leads to disconnection of electrical service by the monopolistic utility, as well as adversely affecting and impacting our personal credit ratings. The PUC has begun what will be a very lengthy investigation into only the health and safety aspects of smart meters, and they needed a court order to do this, even this. The safety of smart meters has not been guaranteed as Maine statute requires, and yet the commission refuses to drop the extortive opt-out fees pending at least completion of the investigation. As far as we are concerned, the violation continues. Maine was first with the smart meter opt-out, thanks to some of the people here. We are first to challenge a PUC decision in state Supreme Court, first with a partially successful decision from the court, and first with a full-length safety investigation by a PUC. We're now asking Bill Schneider, our Attorney General, to be the first in the nation to do what needs doing and open a criminal investigation into extortive fees levied on those thoughtful citizens who choose to avoid harm in its many forms as delivered by a smart meter and smart grid. In closing, I'll paraphrase Justice Levy, who in Supreme, Maine Supreme Court oral arguments said something to the effect of, this is not just about opt-out customers, but also about the safety of every Mainer with a smart meter. Uh, thank you all for coming and for your support. Take back your power. My name is Suzanne Renault, and I'm here to protest the use of smart meters for medical reasons. In 2011, the World Health Organization classified RF radiation as a possible carcinogen for humans, and in January 2012, the American Academy of Environmental Medicine announced their opposition to the installation of these meters, stating that the wireless RF radiation was an environmental hazard and posed a threat to public health. 
It has also been reported that a certain subset of the population who suffer from autoimmune or neurological illnesses are at a greater risk from exposure to these meters. Having a neurological illness myself, I can personally attest to these statements. Back in December 2011, I can vividly remember the day that CMP installed these meters in my neighborhood. On the Saturday before Christmas, feeling quite well, I went Christmas shopping, and upon return to my home, I immediately started feeling very dizzy and faint. I couldn't understand what was happening until I looked outside and noticed that the meters were being installed. For months after that, my symptoms continued to worsen. I know for a fact that I am one of many throughout this country who have been displaced from their homes since the installation of these meters. The recent Maine Supreme Court's unanimous decision against the PUC should be a clarion call to each of the 620,000 CMP customers to stand up and demand that the PUC make the ethical decision to get rid of these smart meters. I was uh, uninformed with the dangers of smart meters. And I had a smart meter installed in September 2011. I had no known medical conditions at the time and encountered many that was just spoken about. I was going through financial stresses and many losses of appliances in the thousands of dollars and the multiple counts. I'm involved with a insurance claim. Right now it's ongoing. I had my smart meter removed in November due to the costs, the losses, the sicknesses that my, not only myself but my family suffered also and I'm still in recovering. The Fourth Amendment, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated and no warrants shall issue, but upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. But a smart meter is essentially a surveillance device permanently attached to your home. It collects personal data in real time and transmits it to a third party who has no intention of keeping that sensitive data private. What is so sensitive about your electricity usage? All your appliances and anything that requires electricity can be identified by their specific signature as they are used. A fingerprint, if you will. You have a Kenmore washer or GE refrigerator, a Vidal Sassoon hairdryer, an Apple iPod. They all have unique signatures. Those are valuable data for any and all marketers and in fact in California Verizon is demanding unfettered access to smart meter data. Those data not only tell the world what you have and use but when you use it and those data can be used by marketers to sell you things for the government to track and profile you, and by hackers. James Woolsey, former CIA director, has stated the smart grid slash smart meters are not only not secure for individual ratepayers, but also make our entire grid vulnerable. Hacking smart meters can lead to a plethora of problems including identity theft, determining personal behavior patterns, profi profiling, which can lead to home invasions, theft, or worse, unwanted publicity or embarrassment, stealing electricity. It will not be difficult through profiling to determine very private activities, 
The invasion is endless. The harm is real. It's my house. It's my body. It's my life. I would add my own words. It's your house. It's your body. It's your life. Thank you. My name is Ellery Keene. I have a sense of morality that I learned when I was young and learned even better as I grew older from experience. The number one on my list is to tell the truth. This has been done to us, the people, in the wrong way and it needs to be corrected and I thank the leaders of this group who are showing the way and I hope everyone else will try to understand and, and for your own good, opt out. I also want to uh, let people know that we're here in solidarity with uh, brothers and sisters across the country and across the world today. Bye, smart meters.